What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves a stellar type Zacian team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Zacian, it definitely is not as good as it was in Sword and Shield, but trust me, this guy is still a sleeper pick and can hit like a truck on the physical attacking side. We got Interpret Sword and the Rusted Sword as its item and ability, so every time it hops onto the field, it's going to get that plus one attack boost. Furthermore, it's going to change forms where Iron Head turns into the Blade. We already mentioned we had the Stellar type for today's video, and Stellar type works actually perfectly on Zacian and this move set right here. You have Behemoth Blade slash Iron Head, play rough, close combat, and protect. We absolutely love it. This Pokemon's gonna come in big time in certain situations, knocking out and picking up some big time KOs. Other Pokemon on today's team features a sand combo. You got Titar and Okie Dokie. Absolutely love this combo right here. Titar is great with the choice band. And Okie Dokie is just a very bulky Pokemon that can actually counter intimidate Pokemon with its guard dog ability. Tyranitar's moveset consists of knockoff, rock slide, high horsepower, and terror blast. And Okie Dokie's got gunk shot, knockoff, drain punch, and upper hand. A very solid first turn priority move that actually goes before any first turn priority move so any fake out users they're gonna be trying to go for fake out we just go for upper hand we can do some big time damage with that our final three pokemon on today's team feature salamence corviknight and amoongus amoongus great on that support side putting pokemon to sleep salamence got intimidate and corviknight just solid bulky pokemon guys you want to run the team for yourself rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel without further ado let's hop into our first match showcasing this stellar type zassian team who would have guessed it? A Kyogre team is in here for match number one. Of course it is. I've been seeing Kyogre all across the rank ladder. Nothing changing here in match number one, but we're going up against a Reggie Draco as well with Tornadus. Very fast little Tailwind combo can go into that. They also have uh, Rock Ogre Pond in DD and what's that Pokemon's name? Screamtail. Okay, so we definitely want to bring in T-Tar because we need some sort of weather control. We're going to be bringing that Pokemon in the back end. And then I think like Zacian could be a solid lead for us, right? We could go Zassian here. What's your terror type, Zassian? What you got here? Yeah, you got the Stellar terror type. That's what it is. I was talking about it all in the team preview, and then I just forgot. But what Pokemon should I lead here? What should I lead? I could bring Amoongus in. Amoongus isn't bad, especially because we could put somebody to sleep. And I think I kind of want to go into that. Like, Amoongus and Zassian? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. So, Amoongus is going to fly in here for us. We are going to go in with... Zacian. Furthermore, I'm going to bring T-Tar in the back end. And then last but not least, probably Okie Dokie. I like Okie Dokie with this whole best. They have a lot of special attackers. So that could be pretty big time for us. So that's going to be my lead. That's how I'm going to want to play this one. If they want to go into Kai Ogre turn one, I'm thinking of just protecting and maybe just putting it to sleep. Might be in our best interest, right? Because they could just set up a Tailwind. They could take Wet. And if we swap into T-Tar, they could just go for a Rain Dance because chances are they're going to have Tornadus next to it. And they're going to go Reggie Draco instead, which is okay. I mean, I'm a fairy type, which is awesome for Zacian. Really good for Zacian. I mean, you could go into a stellar terror type. Here. Or, I mean, you could go into like a steel terror type. But I think from here, we just go Spore into Reggie Draco or even Tornadus. We Spore somebody and then we just attack the other one. I think that's our best bet. Honestly, I think we just Spore Reggie Draco here. I could just protect this turn. Because what are you going for? Like a dragon energy? That's a little scary. Dragon energy is scary, but I think we can just soak it up. So you know what? I'm just going to go for a... I'm just going to go for a Behemoth Blade and Spore here. I'm just going to Behemoth Blade Tornadus. I think that's our best our best bet. I could have went for a play rough into Reggie Draco. But I think it's going to work out fine. So we sash up here, unless you're just lucky. No, you're sashing up. Okay, so you get a focus sash going. Not a big deal. And Bleakman Storm, who's dodging it? Amoongus dodge it? Amoongus dodges it. We love it. And Zacian. Oh, baby. Hot start for us. Straight Meteor going to fire. You should soak this. Awesome. You soak that. Your special attack is dropped. And guess what? You are now going to sleep. And we got the berry. The beautiful. Beautiful. We love it. So not a bad start for us. I mean, chances are they're probably going for a Tailwind here. But most likely, they are going to Tailwind up. Um, and if that's the case, we should just KO that thing, right? I mean, I could leave it on the field if I want to. But I am just going to throw a clear smog into that, just to KO it. And on top of that, we're just going to go for a play rough into the slot. Rather than Behemoth Blade. And yeah, there's a Tailwind. So, pretty simple play from them. They just want to get off that Tailwind. They also want to get off the... Uh... 
They just want to get off the tailwind so Kyrie can just come in the back end and, you know, do its work. So player off's going to pick up the KO. See you later. And furthermore, we're going to KO this thing. So they got some tailwind turns. And Kyogre's can come out here. So what I could do is just swap Zacian. Go into Titar. I mean, that would pretty much just sacrifice the Titar, right? Because even in that weather, we're dead. But I'm trying to think of how we should play this. I mean, we can keep Amoongus here. We could swap Amoongus. Actually, swapping Amoongus might be a little bit in our best interest just to get off that weather. But Double Ogre Pond's going to fly out here. We definitely want to protect our Zacian and just regenerate our Amoongus. Just get back some HP. Yeah, it's definitely our best bet. So we're probably just going to sacrifice our Titar here. Most likely, yeah, just sacrifice the Titar and then just protect this. Because I think what I want to do here is just waste out some Tailwind turns. Again, just in my best interest. So I'm just going to protect Zacian. So Amoongus, get the swap. And out comes Titar. So even with the rain gone, Kyogre's still doing ridiculous amount of damage. And it could Terrasize in the water here. It's just going to end up Spiky Shield, and that's fine. You can spike shield. If I could eat this up, that'd be nice, but I doubt it, right? What is it? Water spout or origin pulse? I don't even know. One or the other. Ice beam. Okay, that's fine. I thought you were ripping a water move there. That's fine. You guys take some buffets or just Kyogre at least. And now from here, I could terrestrialize you if I want to. Special defense is bulky. I could terrestrialize you. I could terrestrialize you into flying. Do I really want to do that, though? I could go stellar for Zacian. How many turns left in this tailwind? Two, right? I believe it's two. Yeah, two turns. Hmm. I think we just saved Terra. I really do. I really think we just saved Terra. We should go for a knockoff here. So I'm going to go for a knockoff, and I'm just going to go for Behemoth Blade into Ogre Pond here. I know it has sturdy, but he's just gonna go horn leech. He's just gonna KO me. That's fine. You get a crit too. Maybe I should have just trash slice Titar. Could have been to play, but I don't mind where we're sitting. I really don't, because I can bring back out Amoongus here. Water spout's gonna fly. You should soak this Zazen, right? You don't. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Now turn oh man, we're in a tough position now. We're in a tough position now. We are in a tough position now. I can go into Amoongus, place this on the left, I can go into you. He's probably gonna Ice Beam and go into... This is where we, we run into a little problem. Ice Beam and... Like an Ivy Cudgel into Amoongus. But I definitely wanna try to spore somebody here. Which it would be Kyogre. I could Rage Powder if I want to. And just have my boy just start doing big time damage. But I mean, chances are they're gonna attack me anyway. I'm thinking of just going for like Drain Punch here. So again, one turn left in Tailwind. We have Assault Vest. I have a Dark Terror type. Hmm. Moongus, what's your Terror type? Water. I mean, that's not in our best interest. We're going to stay in our Terror type. I'm going to go for Spore into Kyogre. I'm just going to go for Drain Punch into Ogre Pond. Look, they deal some damage here. There's the Ivy Cudgel again. I knew, I know that they're doubling down into Moongus. And that just gets a crit and takes me out. That's so ugly. That's so ugly. Kyogre's just so strong, man. It's just so strong. We probably should just terrestrialize our what's it called? We probably should just terrestrialize our what's our uh What is that Pokemon called? Our Titar. That was definitely in our best interest, but still Titar was dying out regardless. It was dead regardless. Titar was dead regardless because they were just going for water spout. So either way we were just dead there. But Tailwind finally ends and oh man. I got upper hand. I mean, that only works for priority moves. What should I go into here? Because Ogre Pond's hit hard. Same thing with... Oh, man. Same thing with that Kyogre. I wish the Buffets were hitting the... What's it called? I wish the Buffets were hitting the... Uh, the, the Ogre Pond, but it's not. Could go into a gunk shot here. Or do I just get rid of Ogre Pond? I think I gotta get rid of Ogre Pond. I think I have to get rid of Ogre Pond here. You could Spiky Shield. Oh, you might Spiky Shield. You know what? We're gonna go Gunk Shot. I think you're a Spiky Shield. I think you're a Spiky Shield. We're gonna see a Terra type pop out here. A beautiful Terra type from Ogre Pond? Kai Ogre. We're going into Gunk Shot in this slot. You're going straight water. We're hoping you're missing Origin Pulse here. <laughs> Kai Ogre's just so strong. 
It's just so strong. He goes for the spiky shield, so we make the good read there. We make the good read. Can you miss an origin pulse? Or are you going for water spout? You're going for water spout. This is just probably KO me, right? Change the weather, there's nothing up against Kyogre. How much damage is doing? We vest it up. We vest it up. Our gunk shot's gonna land here. And you live on one. But Buffets are gonna KO you. Oh my lord, are you faster than me? He's definitely faster than me. He's definitely- We're losing to this! Oh, this is tough. I take Buffets though. I forgot. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts right there, man. A sturdy Ogre Pond not taking any Buffets. Gonna take me out and grab a win. GG's to our opponent. Strong team right there. Not a bad first match. Definitely didn't end the way that we wanted to. We ended up losing, but again, really close all across the board. One HP left on that Ogre pun. But to be honest, we didn't have enough protects to waste out Tailwind, and Kai Ogre was just too strong up against the team that we had. So we'll take that one on the chin. But we're going up against a Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team, right? Kind of Trick Room team? I mean, they got Incineroar. They also have Rollboom, two fake out users. Furthermore, they got, uh, what is that? Glacier. And Wimscott, two Pokemon that can pop Trick Room. And then they got Iron Bundle and Amoongus. So Amoongus can thrive out in Trick Room. I kind of want to bring my own, right? But I'm going to lead Okie Dogie just in case the Intimidate's going to come out here. Or Fake Out, I can always use Upper Hand over top of that. It's just great all around. So I'm going to go into Okie Dogie here. And I think I'm going to lead my Zassian. I mean, you could Intimidate Zassian, which is kind of tough. Making me kind of want to go into, like, you. I wish you had Iron Defense Corp Knight. I really did. I really do. I could just go into you and maybe you turn Pivot. That's not bad. Does that bring Amoongus and Zacian? That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. But honestly, let's just go into you. If you go into Intimidate, you're just going to boost Okie Dogie's physical attack. I think that's fine. Then we'll go into Amoongus in the back, any case, Trick Room. And last but not least, we are going to go into... I just think like a bulky Corviknight could be clutch in the back end. I really do. I like Corviknight. Corviknight's going to be super effective up against those Grass-type Pokemon. You got three of them. You got Whimsicott. You got Amoongus. You got Rollboom. I just think a nice bulky Pokemon late game could be good. So we'll see. Our, our real problem is going to be Glacier, right? So they go into an Intimidate Pokemon. I mean, they're just going to knock down Zacian's attack to neutral. And furthermore, they're just going to boost my Intent or uh, my Okie Dogie, which is good. But they're just going to go into these two Pokemon. So I really don't want to pop a Trick Room. That's my main problem. And both these Pokemon could be Sash. I mean, obviously, Iron Bundle isn't Sash now because it's going to activate Quirk Drive and Speed's going to get boosted. And honestly, I think from here, we just go for, you know, like a Drain Punch. I mean, I could Drain Punch into that, but I kind of want to double down in the Wimscott. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down straight in the Wimscott. I'm going to go for Behemoth Blade. I'm going to go for Drain Punch. If Wimscott's Focus Sash, it's going to die out here. And Iron Bundle's going to protect. That's nice. That's nice. That's lovely. So Iron Bundle is going to protect, and you're going to go for Tailwind. So they just get off their free Tailwind. The Tailwind, pretty big play. Behemoth Blade going to fly here. We're just going to take you out. So no Trick Room is going to come out here. No Trick Room. That's what I was scared of, because uh, Ice Rider Kylo should come with Trick Room. You kind of do me dirty. But the thing is, now with Tailwind, the Ice Rider Kylo is probably pretty fast, right? That's a little scary for us. So I wonder if they're just going to bring that out. They go into Incineroar. That's fine. That's fine. Now my Okie Dogie's plus one. I can go for upper hand here as he fakes me out. I'll take it all day. And then I might just swap Zassian. I might just swap Zassian here. So we got upper hand. And upper hand is great. The user reacts to the target's movement and strikes with a heel of the palm. Making the target flinch. This move fails if the target is not ready. Readying a priority move. So they're, they're probably going for fake out. So I'm just going to go for upper hand. Make him flinch. And honestly, I'm just going to stay in here, and I'm just going to close combat Iron Bundle. Or do I close combat Incineroar? I think we close combat Iron Bundle, more so than Incineroar. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, because you know Iron Bundle isn't Sash. And of course, why does this go first? I'm so confused. Why didn't Upper Hand go first? Is it because he outspeeds me? I thought, I, see, Upper Hand confuses me, man. It confuses me way too much. It really does, because people use upper hand like that to me all the time. And then when I'm trying to use it, it's not working. So I guess it's a speed tie, technically, right? But I guess since Fake Out has its, like, double priority, it's going to go before all that stuff. 
That kind of sucks, man. That kind of sucks. But I can just go for Drain Punch and get back HP into whoever I want. And we're just going to throw it into... We're just going to throw it into Incineroar. And to be honest, I'm just going to stick with Close Combat into the slot. So I'm cool with that. He's going to go for a Freeze Dry. We should soak this, right? Yep. And Close Combat's going to KO you. Get it on out of here. And we're hoping Okie Doki can get off one more turn, right? Just one turn because this Drain Punch most likely KOs Incineroar. And we get back a ton of HP. So let's see how you play this one. You're gonna go for a flare with Sensation. That's fine. I probably die out to that. My defense is dropped. But hey, that's fine. That's fine because Okie Doki sitting plus one. It's gonna KO Incineroar most likely here. And on top of that, it's gonna get back so much HP. Okie Doki, do your thing. Do your thing. We love it. We love it. But yeah, upper hand's always working weird for me. Always working weird. We gotta create we were KOing regardless. We get back a ton of HP. And they're gonna throw out their final Pokemon. Their final Pokemon. Which most likely it's Glacier, right? Most likely Glacier, and you know I'm just going to go into Amoongus because if it is Glacier, or not Glacier, Ice Rider Calyrex, I'm just going to Terrasilize into Water, I'm going to Spore that thing, and we're going to go from there. You're going to get Spored. You're going to get Spored. You're so getting Spored. No berries allowed, though. No berries allowed, Amoongus. Um, I do have Knock Off, which is pretty good, but I'd rather go for Drain Punch just for HP recovery purposes, and then obviously, like I said, Spore with the Water Terror type because... We don't want a Glacial Lance just to come through here and pick up a KO. So out comes a beautiful Water Terror type for my boy, Moongus. Moongus driving out here. We actually didn't Terrasilize or Zassy yet. I gotta do that in the next match. Stellar Terror type Zassy. Gotta do it in the next match. But hey, we showcased Zassy pretty well in this match. Zassy just hits so hard. Out comes the Glacial Lance. Okie dokie, you soaked that, correct? Yep, all day. Moongus with that beautiful Terror type. Gonna soak that as well. Drain Punch going to chip up a little bit of damage. We get back some HP. And more importantly, we're going to wiggle the mushroom over top of Amoongus' head. I'm going to say wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Night, night. Sporn up. Yo, sporn up. Go to bed. Go to bed. Love me some Amoongus. Their Tailwind's finally gone. And now I can sit here and just, you know, spam moves. I'm just going to go for a knockoff. And honestly, let's just pomp off Okie Doogie. Pretty simple play there. And they finally cancel battle. We're sitting one on one. Let's go Terrasilize Zassian in match number three. Moving on to our final match, and we have a slight issue here. Rayquaza. I showcased in my last video. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. This Pokemon is legit a cheat code next to Shen Pao. East speed's going to go crazy. We got to watch out for it. <coughs> I do have some good Pokemon like uh, typing-wise with Zacian and like Titar, so I think that could be good. But a Pokemon that I want to lead here is going to be Salamence. I kind of want some speed, but at the same time, is speed really going to matter? I think we just go into like Okie Dogie here because we can always just like upper hand. We can always go into upper hand for like other moves. But um, you know what? We're going to go into you. Upper hand is going to work great up against priority moves. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with Okie Dogie here. So I'm going to go Okie Dogie. I am going to end up going Zacian. Zacian is a, is a Pokemon that I do like here. In the back end, I do like probably Amoongus just for Rage Powder purposes. And last but not least, we should go Tito with the Choice Band. That's a Choice Band Pokemon. I mean, I could end up leading. You know, let's actually lead Zacian here. Let's lead Zacian and Okie Dogie. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, no, 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 no. We want, we want Okie Dogie Zacian, not Okie Dogie T. Okay, cool. That's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. So Zacian, Okie Dogie here, alongside with Titar Amoongus in the back end for support. We love it, especially a nice big time choice band Pokemon in the back end. Always works well. Always works well. But yes, I gotta watch out for these E speeds, man. Just too much of a problem. Swords Dance could pop out here for Rayquaza. Normal Terror type could pop out here from Rayquaza. Um, Gen Pal's most likely Sash. That's something I gotta watch out for. Buffett can always KO it, though, which is good. But Rayquaza and Mai Shao come out here. Mai Shao, Mian Shao, whatever you wanna pronounce it. Uh, I'm gonna try upper hand here. I'm gonna try upper hand here. I know it didn't work in the last match, but I'm, I'm gonna try it here. I'm going to try here because you have fake out. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to go for play rough into Rayquaza. Let's see. No, it just does, it just doesn't work for me. I, I got to read up more on upper hand, man. I got to read up more on that. You swords dancing? You're going to be swords dancing now. Yeah, this is just absurd. So now he gets off swords dance. I'm going to see if if I can just like use it. Because like reading it, it sounds right. The user reacts to the target's movement and strikes with the, with the heel of its palm. Making the target flinch. This move fail. This move fails if the target is not readying a priority move. 
makes no sense. It makes no sense. So chances are, honestly, they probably just go into an E-Speed into one of my Pokemon. But I'm honestly just going to go into a Behemoth Blade. Actually, I'm going to close combat. You're going to Terrasa Slice into... I'm actually just going to... No, I don't want a Stellar Terror type. Actually, yeah, I do. I'm going to read that you're going into a normal Terror type here. I'm going to make that read all day. So I'm going to go into Stellar. I'm going to make that read all day. You got to be going into a normal Terror type. You got it. It's an absolute must. So you might take out my Okie Dokie, but I might take out you. Let's see. Normal tarot all day. That's solid refresh. Upper hand, just doing me dirty today. I'm wasting turns trying to figure this thing out. There goes the normal tarot, correct? Yep, close combat can KO you all day long. All day long. So let's see what he ends up doing here. You gotta go for E speed into Okie Dokie. There's no way you go into Zassian Slot. You do go into the Zassian slot. That's fine. That's even better for me. Close combat's gonna KO you. The Stellar Terror type gets rid of Swords Dance for Quasim. We love it. We love it. It's solid for us. That put us right back in the game. My defense is gonna drop. And chances are your my shell is probably taking out my Zassian. But I mean Okie Doki can get off some nice damage in that slot. So big time read for us, reading that terror type right there. And then just getting rid of him. Close combat's gonna fire. We're dead. Like I said, we're dead. That's totally fine though. That's totally fine. Your defense drops. Okie Dovey's on the field. We get rid of their Sword Stance for Quaza. On top of that, we get rid of their, uh, their, their Terror type. We love it. So both restricted Pokemon go down. I'll take that trade all day long. Green Punch going to fly here. Beautiful damage into my shell. Beautiful damage. But now from here, I could bring out Amoongus. I could bring out Titar. And Titar's not a bad pull out here. So who do I think they're going to bring out here? Potentially, uh, what's it called? That's a Shen Pao. Hmm. They do bring out Shen Pao. I think I'd rather go into you, but then, oh man. You know, we're just gonna go into you. We're just gonna get these Buffets flying. Because if they go into Shen Pao, we'll just double down into it, because Buffets can KO the My Shell. And it's gonna be Flutter Me instead. So close combat's gonna be terrifying for us. I wish I had Protect, but I'm just gonna swap my T Tar into a Moongus here. T Tar's just not looking good here. Protosynthesis is gonna get boosted. Um. Probably most likely want to try to land a gunk shot here, right? In the flutter main. And just swap it to Amoongus. Yeah, that's that's my play all day. Because Titar dies, and I kinda need Titar. I kinda need Titar. But we're gonna leave the buff leave the buffets out here. Finish off my shout. We're gonna go for a gunk shot into this flutter main slot. And we'll see how they want to play this one. They're gonna go for Moonblast in this slot and probably a close combat into the Moongus. Yep, that's fine. I'm able to soak that. Gunk shot, can you please land? Be a doll. Land. I need you to land here, gunk shot. Love you, Gunk Shot. Love you, Gunk Shot. That's some nice damage. Okie dokie. Getting work done today. Getting work done today. Fluttermane gone. My shot gone. And that was just a perfect swap. Pretty much putting us in a perfect position to win this game. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. So now I can Rage Powder. I can Spore. Let's see who they bring out here. Let's see who they bring out here. It's probably Shen Pao, right? That was just a solid, solid game from us. Big time read from us to get rid of that, uh, that Rayquaza, but they end up not bringing Shen Pao, which is good on our end. It is rather decent on our end. And from here, I can just go for a Drain Punch. I don't think he maybe should KO me, and I guess we'll go for a Spore. If we can get off a Spore, that'd be nice, but I think they just cancel, right? Yep, they just cancel battle. We had T-Tar in the back end anyway, and we go 2 and one for today's video. Love this Sassian team today, especially with the Stellar Terror type. We make an insane read at the end there to actually give us a big time win. Taking out that Rayquaza with that close combat, predicting the normal Terror type. But this team was a lot of fun. You had T-Tar, one of my favorites of all time. Okie Dogie was an absolute dog, no pun intended, in today's video. Then we had Salamence, Corviknight, and Amoongus. And we didn't even use Corviknight, but Corviknight's there for a nice little bulkiness. Also has mirror armor. We love that Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.